Now, the transformers for this area are going to be inside this area. There's no reason not to. They're going to have a transformer on every level. Um, and it makes sense to have a large power transformer. In fact, it probably makes sense to have... Well, to be perfectly honest, I may as well just have it be one large... Uh, uh, just all attached to the, the spine, but for these little things, where I have to go through the wall and I don't want to have to bridge across stuff, maybe it makes a bit more sense to have a single transformer in here as a bit of a uh, bit of a an oddity. Uh, I'm going to have to make it out of steel. That's fine. That is fine. The main point here is that this is going to be able to shunt enough power to just run these. How much power does this require? Transit tube station. How, how power hungry are you? <sighs> okay. Well, I mean, that's okay. I can use conductive wire. Okay, well, it's going to have to be one of these then. Oh, well, that's, that's not the worst thing it could be. This will provide the energy for all of this. Now we'll use conductive wire made of gold because we don't want it to bloody melt. That copper, rather. Just run that straight up through. So I am going to want them powered. This one will be controlled by automation. Should the battery levels at the bottom of this room drop below a certain amount, then that is going to be unlocked. Otherwise, it is going to be locked to force my dupes to, to use this as their main way through. When building an area that you can only get into via a transit tube, I feel that it is quite, quite important to make sure that uh, that area has a fail safe so that if power runs out you can still get out of it so Shadow thank you very much for gifting a sub to the community that was really kind of you Deal. ice cream and abac can't think of a better day oh I mean that does sound pretty good actually Clark, there is tungsten, yes. I'm going to have to deconstruct that because that can't be a ladder either. This is a bit of a special little area here. It's running at uh, full power when it runs. Uh, can I get some more copper ore? How much have I got? I've got plenty. Let's get uh, 30 of them. I do like running this at, at max, max temp. I actually quite like that. If I had the time, I'd make a point of getting in here. Oh, I should have. I should have put some, down some diamond um, transfer in there if, if I was clever about it but uh, I could pump this out with a small gas pump and then replace this with hydrogen so it was even more effective Derek thank you very much for the thousand bits that's very kind of you and an anonymous gifter has gifted a sub to a virtual ostrich <laughs> truly a wonderful name and a very generous ghost as well Let's check out the temperature in here. Minus 5.2 is the, the steady temperature there. And this pro place is probably... Yeah, it, it's it's just holding around 50 degrees. No matter what we're doing with it. So I'm fairly content that that's okay. But looks like we're starting to run out of power. That's not as good. Uh, these need to vent soon, I would think. Well, someone needs to come down here and make some petroleum, please. No, no, no. Re return! 
You escape. Oh, really? Oh, there's not that much oil in it. Never mind. Sorry, I'm calling you out on the wrong things. Tiny bits of power being generated there. Our coal power plants can keep the, the place rolling for a little bit, but it's not particularly effective. Gonna be honest. Can we get any of this out here? Nope. It's fine then. Not that. Um. And that's no power, but it's not meant to have any power, so. Ah, there we go, it's running at full whack. Good, it's it's offering a little bit of power, which is decent. Well, I want you set to accept all and sweep only. Uh, we'll actually put that on three. And I want everything in here swept out. There's a seven. Oh, it's going to drop so far. Oh, it's going to drop down there. That's fine. And that little area is fully taken care of. There we go. What's the temperature of this now? Okay, 20 degree water. It's coming up here colder now as well. Okay, all of our bristle blossoms are, are going again now. That's very necessary. The chill from the ice being stored there is keeping this place nice and cool as well. Alright, so that's not doing too bad. We definitely want to crack into some more, more oil. Get that moving. Because right now it's not going so well for us. Tiny bits of oil being added to the to the loop. Um, we could crack in there and just go straight for it, or alternatively, I could look for oil down here. But I'm fairly certain, as this is a frozen core, that's not going to be particularly easy. Uh, the other one is, of course, getting into this one over here. Might be worth making that a bit of a priority, actually. All right. Let's copy that. It's gonna be made of steel. Can I rotate it? It doesn't make sense, actually. Granite all the way around. Mesh tiles made of copper. Have the vent there. Right, it needs to go down low enough to allow for a pump, but that's all it needs to do. Of course, going to want a ladder as well. Now we're going to have to hook this up to a cooling loop as well, which is kind of a pain. That being said, though. Yeah, we will need a cooling loop. Eventually, we would we would need one. We will always need one eventually, no matter what happens. I'm going to want an Atmos sensor. That's pretty much it, I would say. This one is controlling whether these are active based on how much oil we've got. But 
there's part of me that says that it shouldn't really matter. We should just let it keep going. Because it'll eventually not be able to output any oil, and I assume that once that's the case, it stops working. I'm assuming that's how it works. Could someone confirm to me that that's the case? Because if so, I may as well just get rid of that bit of automation altogether. Um, because this isn't going to be able to... Fl oh, actually, no, no, because this would eventually flood upwards. Ah, yes. That does make sense, then. That does, in fact, make sense. But I suspect it might be a little bit easier if I just pop this in here. Instead. And have one in each, each room. This one can live there instead. Yeah, I think that's probably going to be better. Especially now I'm going to be dealing with them at quite distant locations. I only want them to turn on in the event that... Uh, sorry, turn off if it's going to flood the room. Because my access to the room is on the same level, so I don't want it running upwards. Yeah, that's a very good point. Pumps do waste a little bit of energy if you don't have a full packet to pump. So, uh, I will do the same. I'll add these in there as well. Oh, damn it. Now that we're actually energy shy, that makes sense for me to prioritize those things. Let's get those done on a seven. And then I would very much like these things swept up. More. Little slickster. I, I actually want to farm the slicksters if I can. I think they're a very good candidate for being farmed. I think the slicksters are a really good uh, option for farming. Technically, don't need the insulated tile if it's abyssalite. Only need insulated tile where there isn't abyssalite. So we'll uh, do that. Or will we? Because, I mean, nah, no. It'll look better if it's all the same thing. But technically speaking, you wouldn't need this. Now, the way that I want to come into here is probably from the bottom up, actually. Um, especially as that's going to afford me an opportunity to get a little bit more coal. Let's make this of sandstone, please. Slowly getting this place cleaned out. That's good. Glad to see it. Right, so that will have power once this has power. Um, I guess I could put in a, a little uh, regulator in here as well, I suppose. Send out a green signal if it's above. Um, how much can this pull at one go? 10 kilos. So, send out a green signal if it's above 50 kilos. Same down here. This should stop... Uh, well, this should... Actually, yeah, this should be a green signal if it's below 500 kilos, because uh, a tile can have... Oh, wait, no, no. Oil has a different level of compression. I believe. It's much more viscous, so it... it not as much of it can be in the same tile. I'm fairly certain that's the case. Does anyone happen to know how much oil can be in a single tile before it kind of erupts out of it?
It's still 1,000. Oh, okay. Then in that case, that's brilliant. So uh, the 500 is fine for me. Okay, so the pumps are going to be less uh, less aggressive now. Am I not getting enough water down here? Oh. oh dear. All my water's going up to be uh, sanitized. There's a problem. There's so much polluted water here. That's going to continue to be a problem for me, actually. I mean, I need the polluted water to continue dripping in here to keep these aquatoons cool. This is definitely causing me some problems. Because right now, all of my water is going to the grey water system. Which, you know, I'm fine with. It needs to. Then a load of it is coming down here to deal with CO2 as well. I think maybe I just need a, an extra water sieve. Because it's not that I've got... I don't have enough... Um, it's not that I don't have enough... Uh, polluted water. Polluted dirt in here. I think it's the same thing in this one. Okay, so I can de deconstruct this. Honestly, I kind of feel that this doesn't need to be here. Ah, uh, that's right. I stored these items over here simply so that I could uh, I could off gas them because I kind of want them to be off gassed to a certain degree. I want the slime preserved, but I wanted the the other items here off gassed. Alright. Well, then, let's pop this down here, for example. It'll get caught by the the, uh, the odorizers. Let's make that a reasonably high priority, and then we're going to deconstruct this one as well. At this stage, I don't think I need any kind of uh, overflow system in here because, well, this one maybe still. Actually, no. We'll get rid of that. If I want people to dump um, polluted water, I kind of want it down here, honestly. Yeah, just dump dump all of this into this area. That's, that's the you don't need it placed anywhere else. Organic, hot piles, polluted dirt, what we need. This one should be a reasonably high priority. I want it moved quickly. And this can now be moved over to the side. And a second. Um... Water sieve will help out enormously. Oh sure, I'll be grab that one. Can we get this done quickly though? That'd be grand. Okay, that's gonna also be a problem though. Um, deconstruct this. Oh, 
That's going to cause a little bit of a mop job, but that's fine. Now, how much power is on this network? I can easily afford it. Oh, interesting. We need to do that a different way. Need this bridge over. This one can just come down and then up. There we go. That should help out a little bit. And this one should be an eight, much like the other. There we are. Once all of that is done, then we'll have twice as much uh, capacity to produce water from the polluted water that we're getting. We've got a lot of polluted water, to be fair. Thank you very much, Raven's Path, for the seven months there. Thanks for all your videos, your humour, and the tea. Uh, Owen Tesla, thank you very much for the cheer as well. I hope you're doing well. I loved your last Factorio video, and I was wondering when the next one is coming out. Probably tomorrow. Assuming that I don't spend all night streaming this, in which case it might be uh, late tomorrow rather than at 6pm. But I'm going to be aiming for 6pm. For right now, as I'm getting back into things, probably best to assume every other day. But where I can, I would like to do it every day. But it is a, it is a where I can kind of scenario rather than, than guaranteed, I'm afraid. I would like it to be um, it's been more often though. Very much would like that. Uh, right, okay. That should be flown. There we go. That is so much better now. We're basically consuming all of the polluted water now at this point. Oh, that's so much better. So, so much better. I mean, it's getting reasonably warm moving through here, though, but. Uh oh! What? Why have you done this to yourself? Are you truly entombed, though? Damn it! Why? You fools! You crazy man for- in fact, you know what? Uh, I was tempted not to put her on super high priority because you're such derps, but no, let's get her. With derps like these- no way! Are you made of dumb? There were two of you there! Uh. Made of dumb indeed. Gave the thumbs up when he got dug out. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, that was actually kind of cute. Like, thank you for, for not letting me die. Do I want a drink? Um, Lady Sheila, I would like a drink. Yes, please, thank you. They are derps, it is true, yeah. I am going to make a little area for Slicksters. I think that's that's guaranteed. But I need to find a nice big open... Oh, there's a hatch in here. How did you get in here, little but a hatch dude? This is not where you live. Dunk. Needs to be wrangled. Hopefully you can go somewhere. Good. Otherwise, it's uh, uh, the evolution chamber for you, really. Them's the way it, it works. Everything over here is doing okay. This can be now be reconstructed, I would say. Honestly, so can this. Right. 
relatively fine with deleting all... Oh, those are annoying. Cancel. Want to get over there. And then we'll delete those down. Little by little. Let's get this place all cleaned up. I do like the little the little uh, long-haired slickster over there. I would like to have a little branch of long-haired slicksters. That, that's very much a, ha look at how wealthy I am kind of scenario, but I would like to. I think it would be nice. But, yeah, let's, let's go ahead and pop down a, a little um, sensor in there as well. Copy. Now, I don't necessarily think I need this one to be made out of steel. This one could be made out of copper, that's fine. Put that in there. This will control you. Now, the end goal with this is never to have so much liquid on the ground that it's going to stop my batteries from charging. That would be shockingly bad. Is anyone going to come pick up this, this hatch? Have we got anywhere to put the hatch? Oh, no. Oh, no, we do not. Well, that can't be allowed. Um, pop this there. And this max priority. Hatch needs a place to live. Otherwise, I'm going to have to turn him into hatch food. I mean, into food made of hatches. Into dupe food. A delicate hatch roast. Need a finely minced hatch. hatch. Uh, all, but it should be priority one. There we go. There we go. A glossy Dracula. Oh, you due to be taken out of here? You must have been, yeah. Okay, well you can live out there, I suppose. But that was going to be some scales for me, but oh, oh well, I guess. There we are, hatch has been moved. Hooray. Now then. Next part is to run the heavy watt conducted wire. We're gonna be making that a copper again, all the way down and across. And honestly, I'm probably gonna run this all the way down. There's a part of me that's thinking that maybe I should just have the ladder go straight down like that. It does kind of isolate things unnecessarily, but at the same time. Not the worst idea. But this is where we're going to have our new industrial buildings. They're not power buildings, but the industrial ones. So, overheat. You cannot overheat. Oh, no, you can. So, I'm going to have to make you out of steel. And we'll just have all of the items around here. Uh, I do want um, aqua tuners at the top, so I'll probably put most things at the bottom, then I'll reserve that top area for the super hot items that I can put up there. Um, the smelters and the likes. So this can live down here. That'll be fine. Oh, wait. What am I doing there? Chat has probably already advised me that that was a bad idea. Thank you, chat. I haven't checked, but I'm sure you did. There we go. Uh, what is this? This is a uh, this is going to be an industrial room. So I'm going to have all of my my smelting, any industrial job, and perhaps even things like right research and stuff like that, that does not produce any kind of off gassing. And if they do produce a liquid, it's piped. Ba basically, if if it's um, outputting anything other than steam into its environment or water into its environment then it doesn't belong in here but if it can produce anything else then this is where i want it uh sorry if, if it doesn't produce any of those things then this is where i want it uh, this one can all be deconstructed 